What, What is up, everyone? Welcome to Candle Play. This is your good art VA Simon. In today's tutorial, we will show you how to create a pixel stretch effect in Canva. A lot of people in our community are requesting for this. The pixel stretch effect is a design usually made in Adobe Photoshop. Can this effect be done in Canva too? Well, it is. Here is the sample of what we are going to create. How to do this? Okay then, let's jump into the step-by-step -step process. As you can see, I am now in the Canva Design Editor and I have created a new design. What you'll do is go to Photos or Upload, drag an image that, that you'd like, then go to Effects, click on Background Remover, and remove the background. So, as you can see, I'm using the Pro version of Canva. Uh, you can automatically remove the background here under Effects. But if you are a free user, you can also use free alternative background removers like Remove.bg and Sticker Mule. I will put in the description box below for the link of these alternatives. If you want to have the Canva Pro account, I have a link in the description below that will give you an access to 45 trial days of Canva Pro. It's completely free and you can cancel at any time you want. Hassle-free, right? Now let's proceed. After removing the background, click on the duplicate, duplicate the image, set it aside for later use. So I will just put here the duplicated image and using the original one, I will click on effects. Okay, click on effects, then find pixelate, see all, and click pixel. Then click again for settings. Then um, please note that there's no specific settings for this effect. It depends on the pixel of the photo you choose to use. Like for this example, I will adjust the vertical pixel to its maximum value, 200. Then the horizontal pixel, okay, let's just um, scroll down to, um, let's say, 1. As you can see, it is already um, stretched, right? So, after this, we will now be needing the duplicate copy of the image we did a while ago. Overlay it in front um, to the farthest edge, you know, right there, to the cover uh, to cover the edge of the stretch image, and that's it. But as you can see, if you notice, there is a missing portion in the stretch image. It happens sometimes. It really depends on the pixel of the image you're using. So what we're going to do, we will duplicate the stretch image and find the color of the part that's missing. So it is um, in the pants part of the uh, subject photo. So I will crop, I crop this um, color. Then... Um, place it right there and send it to back. For final touches, okay, for final touches, I will color the background here. So, okay, just go to the color section and just click on any color you'd like. Okay, or, or uh, using the original image, um, right-click and apply colors to page. That's it. 
For more design inspirations, watch this. If you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and to be updated with our upcoming videos, click subscribe, drop your comments below for the tutorial you want to learn next time. Before I end this video, I hope I inspire your creativity. I'm Simon, your good art VA. In behalf of Godsend VA, thank you for watching this till the end. Remember to hit the notification bell because... Uh, my good friend, Pinky, your godsend VA, will bring you another exciting tutorial in the next video. Bye guys! See you in the next video!